All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakotash, double honor unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to our younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations, and hopeful luck out there pushing his words in truth and in sincerity across the four winds. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh push them to get up out of here. Shalom on to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And um, in the spirit, you know, I just want to do a response, you know, to uh, Brother Allen, New York. Um, I want to say, I'm a one of the bar, you know, so like if I got the brother's name wrong. But uh, he pretty much did a lesson. You know, speaking to um, the women, all right, the women that are single and the women, you know, that are married, and um, you know, he was pretty much making the point, you know, about married women, you know, shouldn't have their picture up there, you know, out of respect, you know, for their husband, you know, and that's in the spirit because I remember we we spoke on it before as well, you know, and at the end of the day. As a culture, you know, as a nation, as we build, you know, we, we leveling up, you know. We don't do these lessons just, you know, so we all can agree with what's being said and not making, not start making adjustments in our day to day. And you how about Shema Shai, you know, as the scriptures say, when you read 1 Corinthians 14, 33, it says, for the most high, not the author of confusion, all right, but of peace. Is in all the churches of the saints, and yeah, you know this is the thing about about order, you know, and not having confusion. You see, that's how things, you know, once once you take away order <laughs> from any situation, okay, from any organization, from any job, from anything, then you got a free fall, okay, order. It's necessary to maintain anything, man. <laughs> All right? So, in the spirit, you know, there's a certain order, you know, that we want to stay in, man. And that's to keep confusion down, man. Okay? Because we don't know who's married and who's not married. So, the best thing to do for married women is, like the brother said, not to put their pictures up, man. Okay? Because... One thing you gotta understand, it's not just brothers that watch the videos. You got, as you can see, it's some bugged out niggas out here, man. Okay? Niggas that got a lot of free time, all right? This is a society where, you know, technology make it convenient for a nigga, all right, to be some bug out, pervert ass nigga, man. <laughs> you see? So this is not, you know, something that brothers just coming out like them brothers mean they strict like nah we looking at as, as as we're being groomed to be judges we're looking at the ripple effect that can happen okay even you sisters that don't have you know uh husbands now you free you know you hey do what you gonna do you know it's just spiritual advice to be conservative and be moderate man <laughs> you know Cause it, as you can see, it's some bugged out niggas out here. We we going into all these lessons about these niggas bugging out. Do you know that these guys is watching the videos and you know they probably look at your face and try to I don't know what type of technology they got where they can try to find you and all this whole crazy shit. You know, at the end of the day, you know we know the spirit of y'all by Shema Shah is gonna protect this sheep, but we also are are are, are you know required to be wise okay apply wisdom you know the scriptures speak about a woman you know being moderate man okay and I say this like you know for you sisters that you know don't have husbands hey you know this just a spiritual suggestion you know you know order the decree of is what you should do but hey you gotta you know, hey, you got to go ahead and you, you, you know, it will you probably, you know, <laughs> be a good thing to do. I'm trying to make sure I'm wording it right. But probably be a good thing to do, though, is 
hey, the, the brother that you like, you know, hey, start, start acting like you preparing yourself for that brother, man. <laughs> you know, start moving, all right, like you belong to that brother. Because you got to think about it. We move, we move right now like we belong to Yahweh Shai. We ain't seen them in person, you know, but the men of Yahweh Shai, we move like we belong to Yahweh Shai. <laughs> you see? So in the spirit, it's like you just prepping yourself, you know, for what's to come. And Yahweh Shai is orchestrating these things like, you know, different, you know, spirits that match, you know? You, you know, you take a liking to a particular brother, hey, start acting like, you know, <laughs> you know, you his possession already, man. And, and start preparing yourself and acting accordingly as a married woman. <laughs> you see? Because it's going to happen eventually when you how about Shemal Shah start linking things together in the spirit, you know? So that will be, you know, a suggestion I would do, and that will kind of, you know, put you in a mindset, you know, a, a wife, man. You know, just like with us, man, we're already being put in the mindset of judges. We don't have the power to judge the earth, but we got the power to judge over particular uh, 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 you know, particular situations, you know, according to our rank, you know, within the ministry. And that's us rehearsing to be judges, man. Okay? And you sisters that are single, you rehearsing to be wise, man. And <laughs> what you here for? Hey, <laughs> you see? You know, it's not not a hangout. You gotta, you know, really be working towards something. You know, and like I say, it's just a spiritual suggestion, man. But uh, you know, we want to make sure we keep down the confusion. You know, uh, your personal business, your personal business. We shouldn't know anything that's going on in your house, man. That's another thing as well. You know, nobody. You know, you should know what's going on in, in your household, man. That's your situation. That's, you know, and that's out of respect, you know, for your husband. Okay? You don't, you don't need to know what he's doing, no matter what he's doing. That's, you know, that's, that's your all situation, man. You know, you, you got to deal accordingly in the spirit. Now, this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 4. It said, let, let things be done decently and in order okay and that's why i say we're gonna stay decent you know and stay in order because when you move order from a situation it's chaos <laughs> okay <laughs> the only thing between you know um peace and chaos is, is order so when you remove order it's chaos man you know it's a free fall and this ain't what this is about, man. We're building in the spirit. And this is the time to level up, man. You know, as men, we always talking about leveling up, you know, amongst each other, man. You know, hey, but you sisters start to, it's, it, it's time to start leveling up, man. You know, but you gotta be fully persuaded in your own mind, okay? You don't wanna be in the same place, you know, moving the same way, all right? As when you first, you know, heard, you know? So just putting that out there, pretty much responding to the brother lesson, you know, that he did, you know, concerning that, man. You know what I say? It's all about decency and being in order. So, Lord will, your brother, you know, if you see support, edify until next time I say, shout out.